So you guys are somewhat of veterans when it comes to South by Southwest. I mean, what would be like the, the top three highlights that you've had, you know, being here? Well, it's weird. It's weird the things you things you remember most aren't always the best experiences. I don't know if you've had that in your life right. where, you know, certain the things that stick with you are tend to be some disasters. You but like I I don't know. I just feel like when you're at South by Southwest, you shouldn't be shooting to make everything awesome. You need to be shooting to make everything regrettable. Is because that that's when you're like, "Oh man, I went to South by Southwest and I did this." It's not like we had a great time. You gotta get Work. into some dirty. Kim sh found me after drinking a bottle of champagne, passed out on the side of Sixth Street. I mean, that never happened. Is it like what happens at South by Southwest stays at South by Southwest? Sure, I feel like that's any just destination city. But I, I'm a virgin to South by Southwest, so I'm trying to figure out what what bad things I could do. You know? Well, I mean, I'm when gonna tell you what to do. Say yes to everything, no okay. matter what. Say yes. Where you're like, do I really need to go to the after after party at 5:30 in the morning when the sun's coming up? Yes. The the answer is yes. Okay. Maybe after you've been here six times, you're like, uh, I think I'll just sleep this one out. Do, but do I really need to get in this car with all these strippers and that one sketchy dude? Yeah. Yes. The answer is yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So aside from that that car with the strippers and the sketchy dude, who are you excited to see here? Well. I don't know. I mean, our thing, we found out about some bands we can't mention that are secret guests at, at this thing. That uh, We're big hip-hop fans, and I'm, I'm glad to see more of a hip-hop presence at South by Southwest. I heard Taleb Kweli is here. That's oh, really? that's crazy. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And, uh, I can't say. No. I will say you should be at Fader 4 every night this week. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I... I I don't know. Uh, do we have anything in our schedule? Our schedule is more like we want to come talk to people such as yourself, and and um, you know we have a, a sort of different schedule, and we just kind of. I feel sometimes when you make too many plans, plans never work. Wait, wait. Another rule of South by Southwest: don't plan on anything. Just Seriously, let things just happen. Go. Let things yeah. happen, and that's it. Yeah. That's I, what we're doing. I feel I feel better prepared for South by Southwest now. I appreciate it. The, yeah, as. The less prepared you are, the better. I see people with like a list. I'm like, you're not going to get to anything on that list. Just find a place that has free booze and see what happens next. At, at the end, you had an awesome trip, but nothing is crossed off the list. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is, it's, it's like, oh, wait, I didn't see a single band, and I don't remember the weekend. Success. <laughs> Matt and Kim, thank you so much for hanging out. Yeah, thank oh, you. Thanks. MC.